Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Um, I just wanted to do a quick bike check on the Kent Travail. I got uh, pretty much in its final stage here. Um, I may or may not want to switch the drivetrain to the Advent X. I have an Advent X, uh, an extra set that I I'm gonna take off the Kent bow, the Genesis bow. Um, all I need, or all I will need is a shifter. Um, I think they're like around $30. But this one works fine for now. Um, but I do I do want that clutch um, and that extra gear. Things that I've done so far, tubeless on the, the tires. These are the stock rims and the stock CST tires. Uh, kind of a pain, but they seem to be holding up uh, just fine. JG bike cranks and uh, chain ring, 32 tooth oval. These pedals are similar to the Race Face and the Fookers. They're an, uh, another brand, and these were like $20, $20 or so. I can't remember for sure, but pretty budget friendly. Um, I got the Transx 27.2 drop uh, jump seat dropper post with the lever integrated into the bottom of the seat. I really like this. Um, it's clean. Looks a little funny, but it's it works just fine. I took it out on the trails yesterday, and it works really good. Um, frees up space in the cockpit, right? So you don't have to deal with uh, another lever, and you don't have to fight with yourself regarding whether or not you're going to drill a hole for an external cable or for an internal cable or if you're going to put zip ties and route a line all the way up and make kind of the bike look kind of kind of funny because you know you've got this clean frame with this internal routing and then all of a sudden you have cables running through the frame so i think this is a good option this is 27.2 diameter with a shim to make it 30.4 um, and it works fine. It is 100 mil millimeters of travel. It's uh, responsive. Down. Up. All good. Uh, next thing. Wake bars. I have these lying around. Um, I did get a Jessica headset. 44 to 55 millimeters. Uh, if you're curious, uh, that's the size that you're going to need. 44 up or 55 lower. PNW Loam Grips. Shimano MT200 brakes. Um, if you're going to do hydraulic brakes, just be warned that um, the internal routing makes it a lot more difficult um, and you're probably going to lose some fluid and you're probably going to make a mess. But um, it can be done. I've uh, successfully, hopefully, gotten this all buttoned up. There's a little bit of... Uh, residue there that's probably just from my spillage um, I don't think I have any active leaks I think that's just the greasiness of where it was and you know trying to wipe it off so I did ride yesterday no issues um, I got these uh, purple rotor bolts these are actual uh, t25 heads versus the allen heads that come on there be careful if you're changing those uh they are on there very tight and they strip very easy so just take your time be patient with that and it should be fine um jg bike stem purple as you can see the theme i'm um, going with a purple and black kind of set up here i like it and the final thing that i did just a little bit ago i thought i really want a new fork but I don't want to spend fork, new fork money. Um, I'm trying to keep this bike as budget friendly as possible. Um, you know, the bike was three, what was it, 398? And then I had some of the parts laying around. So, so far I'm only into it like 600 bucks. Um, so I think that's pretty good. Um, this fork I had lying around. I remember this is the old Bucklose fork, the one that I took off the Axum because I was scared of the cracks in the lowers and I can't find them right now let's see there we are so there's a crack in that side there's a little bit of a crack up there but uh 
I'm hoping that it's just a crack in the paint. I don't see seem to have any uh, oil leaking out of there. I'm, it's holding air just fine. Um, so we're just gonna see what happens. Um, they had to been sitting in the box for a while and still had air pressure. So I think that they're gonna be fine. We'll uh, we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna probably redo the the lockout because it's currently, I took the cable out, but I may or may not put the lockout back on there so that way I have it available, might as well. Um, but for now, we're just gonna leave it. That's it for this one. I'll get, try to get some footage of me riding with this new uh, fork and see how much different it is. Definitely feels lighter already. Um, I didn't do a measurement of the weight of this fork versus the Suntour, but it's definitely lighter. I'll do a full bike uh, weight, Let's see what it's at now. So I should be about probably 30 pounds. Um, but again, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more and I'll see you next time.